Hey, what is up you guys? It's your boy Strader here. We're back at it again with another reaction video. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to whatever time you're watching this. So this one is going to be an anime reaction video. This is top 10 top 10 showcases of power from Zoro. This is from Vinitube. This is another top 10 video from him. I really enjoy his video. So you guys should subscribe to his videos if you're a fan of anime. He has insane top 10 lists. Like not insane, but good, really, really nice top 10 lists. And uh, yeah, let's check this one out with me, so huh? here we go. In a pirate crew with the most promising contender for the royal seat of the pirate king, it's understood that his crew members too must pull their weight. And who does it better than Roronoa Zoro, first mate to straw hat Roronoa captain Zoro. Monkey D. Luffy for Roronoa, no, Roronoa Zoro. Former pirate hunter and one of the only two non captain members of the worst generation, Zoro, yeah. ever righteous, loyal, and monstrously strong, shows his metal time and time again in the direst situations, always managing to come out on top. And that's why today's video is a tribute to the exceptional first mate of the Straw Hats. This is Vinny Tube bringing to you the top 10 Zoro showcases of power. Get ready Let's to go. be blown away by this yeah, model this, of this true well. samurai spirit. Starting off at number 10 is Zoro pulverizing a group of gamblers in Wano. In typical uh, Zoro fashion, the pirate is once again lost when he befriends Donoyasu, who later turns out to be an integral character in the arc. Throughout the series, Zoro has the mysterious tendency to meet and connect with characters of some importance, and in Wano 2, in a twist of fate, he encounters Yasu-san, the man with the most infectious laugh. To repay his benefactor for a meal, Zoro ends up in a gambling den where he uncovers a cheat manipulating the dice. A melee ensues and Zoro is surrounded by the sword-wielding hoodlums. Enraged but calm, the master of the three sword style knocks them all out in a jiffy using just one blade and without so much as scratching them. <laughs> Next up is Zoro's stupendous knife slash. This one too is in Wano. <laughs> Serving as his introduction in the ongoing arc, this incident is a perk to all of us who missed the warrior pirate in the preceding Whole Cake Island arc. Apprehended on false murder charges, Zoro, disguised as the Ronin Zoro Juro, is sentenced to death by seppuku or ritual suicide. Stately in a white kimono, Zoro's perfectly at home playing the role of a samurai. In fact, the Wano arc is tailor-made for our favorite sword master. Just as he gets ready to slit his stomach, he exposes the magistrate as the actual culprit, and with a slash of his hiltless short knife, kills him from a considerable distance. Ooh. Part of the monster trio with Luffy and Sanji, Zoro certainly lives up to his name in this unbelievable display of strength and skill. But again, it's just like him to catch the attention of the entire country, contrary to the fervent appeal of his okay. samurai allies to lay low. It's always a roller coaster ride whenever Zoro ends up lost. <laughs> The Wano scenes, the animation is just insane. Yeah! Tough knock. <laughs> Fucking tough knock. Right after slicing nice. up a galleon ship in two, the demon pirate hunter faces off against Hody Jones, which is our pick for the eighth spot. Mm. Oh, this while holding his breath, by the way. Post time skip, the Straw Hats land smack in the middle of a coup d'etat in Ryugyu Kingdom. Zoro takes on Hody Jones, the captain of the new Fishman Pirates, as his opponent. A great white shark Fishman, Hody is a powerhouse of raw strength and unmatched in combat, especially against humans. Now, earlier on in the series, Zoro had quite a tough time dealing with another Fishman, Arlong. But two years of training under his rival and mentor, Dracul Mihawk, finally plays off. Hody, the perfect mean machine to test Zoro's skills, is left bloodied and unconscious. Fight underwater while holding his breath and against a fish man yeah, to boot yeah. isn't something to be sniffed at. Zoro's display against Hody shows that he is well on his way to surpassing Mihawk as the world's greatest swordsman. Ooh. 
Lucky number seven is Woo! none other than the picturesque Zorro clash in snow-clad Ringo between Zoro and Killer. The animation of this fight is all oh, holy shit. Right in the middle of an intense battle with a demon-human hybrid called Gyukimaru, mm. Zoro is forced into an even more dangerous contest by Gamazo, an elusive manslayer in Wano. Gamazo, we now know, is Killer, a member of the Kid Pirates who has somehow ended up working as a hired assassin. The fight between two fellow members of the worst generation is nothing short of spectacular. Very a very nice. Japanese duel between a ronin Ooh. and a manslayer. The speed and destruction are out of this world to the point of changing the landscape. Their bloodlust is palpable. Even though Killer manages to stab Zoro with his scythe. No thanks to Gyukimaru's interference, Zoro hacks him down with his next attack. It's plain to see here that Zoro has outdone most of his generation in the art of swordplay, and he gets extra points for showing no hesitation to take on two capable opponents at once in his desire to protect the weak and the defenseless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the animation! Is going At number six yeah. is Zoro single handedly yeah, besting yeah, a yeah. hundred bounty hunters. Yeah. <laughs> The action takes place early in the series but remains badass to this day. When the straw was hats that? arrive in the town. Is that Hill Mepo? Or the, the Kobe sidekick? Or. Uh... I think I'm wrong anyway. Whiskey Peak, they're treated to a raucous party. Now, we all know that this private crew loves a good jamboree, but not all that glitters is gold. Deep in slumber from the drinking and merrymaking, the unsuspected crew is surrounded by members of okay, it's not, it's not, it's not. Rock Works, a clandestine company of bounty hunters. What follows is a prelude to the impending face off with Crocodile, the Straw Hat's first major antagonist. Zoro, the only one awake and very much up to the task, takes on the challenge with relish. Contrary to how he is now, we're treated to a youthful and rational. Zoro, who's always up for a fight. But as he is now, he's still perfectly capable of devastating damage. Zoro wipes out almost all the bounty hunters and proves that against an army of guns, his trusted swords will triumph any day. Yes, ready? 100. At the midway mark now, we head straight to the Alabaster Arc where Zoro engages in a one-on-one -on -one contest with Daz Bones, the Man of Steel. The Man of Steel. A Baroque works officer agent, Daz is a bounty hunter, martial artist and swordsman, more conveniently so because of his devil fruit power that allows him to turn his body into steel blades. He goes by the codename Mr. One, which indicates that he's second only to his boss, Crocodile. Daz is a hard contender and is even acknowledged by Mihawk. He's therefore the perfect opponent for Zoro to hone his skills. Although badly cut up by his difficult foe, we must commend the Straw Hat's first mate's tenacity and will to win at all costs. Cutting steel is near impossible, but Zoro, with his inhuman human strength and staggering skills manages to do just that in a most stupefying single combat. It can be counted as one of Zoro's biggest leaps in power, taking him closer to his goal of being Mihawk's successor. True, 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 true. This has been canonized uh, in, the, my, in the anime as well, that this is like hockey. Like, has Oda explained that this was hockey? Uh, how he cut him? Anyways. <laughs> The list gets hotter as Zoro oh, slices one. the tricky Pika in half at number four. <laughs> In the Dressrosa arc, Zoro finds himself pitted against oh, Pika, an elite Black officer Lace. of the Don Quixote family. Pika can assimilate with stone and has just transformed into a humongous stone golem, making him close to invincible. With innocent lives at stake, Zoro literally flies across the kingdom to get within striking distance of Pika and unleashes uh -huh. a fierce attack with his haki imbued blades. He not only manages to cut the stone monster in half, but continues to slice and dice him until Pika's human form has nowhere to hide. This here is Zoro at his best. Intelligent 
intelligent, intuitive, dependable, and supremely cool. He's the kind of champion you want when your life is in danger. Nice, Thinking back nice. to Dressrosa, Zoro's dismantling of Pika is surely a Ooh. foreshadowing of what was to follow. Starting from that point, it's as if One Piece creator Echiro Oda was grooming us for Wano and Zoro's exploits in the land of the samurai. And boy, is it keeping us glued to our seats. Zoro Juro. One of the most selfless acts in One Piece is at number three. It's Zoro's meaningful encounter with Bartholomew Kuma. Right after ending the conflict in Thriller Bark, the exhausted Straw Hats are unlucky enough to run into Kuma, who's come for their captain. With an unconscious Luffy out for the count and the rest of the crew no better off, Zoro's the last man standing. In a deeply memorable moment, Zoro offers up his life in exchange for Luffy's, even going down on his knees and giving up on his dream of becoming the greatest swordsman. The deal with Kuma means taking on all the pain in Luffy's battered body. Staying true to his Bushido code, Zoro asks Kuma to change location so no one can win witness his sacrifice, stoic, steadfast and courageous to a fault when Sanji later finds Holy him alive. Shit, look at all that blood, bro. Look at all that blood. But standing in a massive radius of splattered blood, Zoro replies, nothing happened. This nothing moment happened. will live on in the history of One Piece as the most None honorable there. act of any crew. We're entering the big league now, and at number two, we have Zoro stopping Big Mom and Kaido's combined attack at Onigashima. I wonder what's number one, though. I guess we'll find out. Uh, okay. The conclusive battle atop the Skull Dome sees Zoro, Luffy, Law, Kid and Killer go up against the two most feared and powerful pirates of their time. The Yonko duo clearly don't think too much of their challengers and aim to bring them down in a single shot. With zero hope of dodging the attack, the rookies can only watch in horror as the atmosphere around them crackles. That is until Zoro, without a thought for himself, steps in front of his allies and blocks the massive blast, deflecting it upwards and sacrificing himself. A firm believer of the samurai code of facing attack Attacks head on, Zoro never flinches, even in the face of his imminent death. Having come a long way since joining Luffy, Zoro has never shown weakness from the very beginning, and he's always had his captain's back, as we saw in the episode with Kuma. If blocking the Yonko's attack on his own wasn't enough, Zoro slashes yeah, yeah. Kaido okay. and gives him a scar to remember for our top pick today. So it's Uchino Sinchuda! Sinchuda! Mazua Kuchino Atamo! Sakini Tsumishimuroga! This is where the, the, the fucking extra, extra two pair. Of extra two pair of hands comes out the 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 fucking demon demon the green green demon once again stepping in to protect his captain the swordsman makes a valiant effort to goad kaido into finishing him off first having already mm. sustained serious injuries from kaido and big mom's attacks mm. earlier he makes one mm -hmm. last stand against the beast pirate's boss in a continuation of his black blades moment against pika zoro attacks kaido with a heavenly nine sword style display leaving Ashura. a deep gash on the yonko's chest right where kozuki oden had cut him more than 20 years ago that he calls his attack dead man's game shows his strong resolve Ooh. to lay down his life for his captain's cause. Making the moment even more significant, an openly impressed Kaido hints that Zoro may have just used Conqueror's Haki. Zoro himself is unaware of this fact. As fans who've witnessed his progress, we now know it's only a matter of time before he assumes the mantle of the world's greatest swordsman. Zoro versus Mihawk? I cannot fucking wait. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Although Zoro versus Mihawk, I don't think that's going to be a fight where it's like the two of them trying to kill each other? No, uh, I think it's more of Mihawk's final testing of Zoro. I think Mihawk already knows that Zoro is gonna surpass him. It's just about like the rite of passage, you know, or the passing of the the passing of the title. So he has to lose to Zoro. But Zoro is not out to kill Mihawk. Mihawk is not out to kill Zoro. Like I think I think they have an. Uh, uh, respect for each other and their relationship uh, with each other goes beyond that so yeah it's it's about it's just about time you know it's just about time <laughs> a 
And that's it for the top 10 Zoro showcases of power. Please that's it boys that's it if you like the video then like the video share this with family and friends if you have any other comments or recommendations put it down there in the comment section down below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already but that will be it for this one though thank you very much guys for watching see you next time folks bye, -bye.